This is going to be a ranty video. There is still some structure to it, I've uh, made a script in advance, but it's largely an angry tirade at Overkill masking the truth to everyone because of recent events that I'll explain in a moment. So if you're not into that, then by all means watch something else. I have a very good freelancer video I just made. But if you're here for the structured rant, then here we go. On June 8th, 2023, Overkill Software released a patch for Payday 2 that added EOS support for the game, Epic Online Services, in preparation for the game going free on the Epic Games Store. Now, I've made my position on EGS clear before. I don't hate Epic, Steam needs competition, and EOS is a genuinely good SDK. That's not people's cue to make a backhanded compliment towards Epic, it's a genuinely good suite of tools to allow for cross-platform play, cross-progression, and in some cases cross-purchasing achievements at all without being disguised as a DRM scheme. Spider-Man Remastered is DRM free on EGS, by the way. Just thought I'd mention that. No, the problematic element here is not Epic Games or Timothy Sweeney, and I've seen barbs being thrown that way, but his company's involvement has little to do with the situation. No, the problematic element here is Overkill Software. They implemented EOS in such a strange and convoluted way that not only does it make finding friends and hosting lobbies more painful than it really needs to be, but also the very same patch broke native Linux support for Payday 2, something that I discussed previously in the video linked in the top right. Now, their claim on the update post is that the engine build is outdated and they apparently tried to find a solution, but didn't give specifics, which raised immediate red flags in my bullshit detector. Oh yeah, there's no bleeper on this one, because I know how to interpret PR language when I see it. Fun fact about me, I was a graphic design student, meaning I got taught on how to essentially tell parts of the truth so clients could advertise to people via posters and online advertising. Their response has all the hallmarks of vague PR nonsense. Non-committal wording? Check. Lack of any meaningful information or progress updates from the company on said issues? Check. Trying to blame something inconsequential on the engine without elaboration on what said issue was. Check, check, and check. Two possibilities come to the forefront of my mind. One, Overkill were not lying and did genuinely want to add EOS support to Linux, but couldn't be asked to deal with it and try to find a plausible, all-encompassing reason as to why. Two, Overkill had no intention of adding EOS support to Linux, and instead strung players along just to make sure they'd buy the DLCs and whatnot. Or three, the issues are entirely separate. Somehow, I doubt it. Admittedly, one of those angles is more cynical than the other, but you can kind of start to see why I'd think like this. Now, funny thing here, EOS does work natively on Linux. It has its own page and everything. And I found this by googling EOS Linux and got redirected to the page you're seeing. Admittedly, one that looks like a stub, but that's because it's trying to reference other things. Which makes sense when you think about it, as Epic Games are primarily a game engine developer. And Unreal 4 and 5 are cross platform with every platform under the sun, including Linux. Meaning they have every incentive to keep EOS and their other development products compatible between games and OSs. Maybe the circumstances changed between March and June, but that's not a long time for this sort of thing. Negotiations and deals like this do not happen overnight. Politics is boring, long, and work takes time to do. Either way, I'm sure as hell the DOS is not to blame here, and while I can't call overkill liars, as I tried to do in the opening, I can call them out for what is such an obvious ruse, at least in my opinion. And the EOS integration is the definition of an over-engineered solution, working with lobby codes that literally do not need to exist, and wonky implementations of friends lists. I have an EGS account and a Steam account linked together, uh, the latter connected to the former, and nobody on my Epic's friends list shows up. This whole situation is really odd and was clearly not tested properly. I have Rocket League on Steam, and this is what the friends list looks like. Uh, looks rather familiar, doesn't it? Except, this can search for Epic players and Steam players. The UI looks genuinely okay, it doesn't look or feel convoluted to use. This is what it should have been like, not this nonsense that looks like someone was doing developer testing and pushed it to the main branch without thinking of the consequences. I am angry, baffled, outright furious at your behaviour overkill. You killed native Linux support, which you didn't need to do. You broke your games as matchmaking servers with a system that can't filter by distance, and this update was released in an untenable state. And as of typing this up and reading this out, you have kept suspiciously quiet. I think the best way to end this video is this. Overkill, 
you cannot be trusted. As a company, you have had so many breaches of trust, fallouts with the community, scandals that added microtransactions, and a lot of that was forgiven when the company was about to go under. People still liked the game and it still worked. You even got rid of the microtransactions and the safes and that whole system. People still liked the game and it still worked back then. And now it doesn't work, not reliably at least. Yes, these things will likely get fixed or changed, but that should not be expected on release. To calm myself down, I do have a solution to recommend, which is a switch between the Steam friends list and the Epic's friends list, a la Chess Ultra or Dead by Daylight. I'm not against this system existing in Payday, I am against implementation that was clearly rushed together to try and get it to work for the free week on EGS. I have no interest in Payday 3 as of writing, which is a damn shame because I had plans to make mods for it and document the how-tos of doing so as Unreal 4 is my wheelhouse. I know how to use it, but not anymore. Fix the Linux ports, and if that's something you are vehemently against doing, then change the EOS implementation to either be optional or remove it entirely. I'm not against crossplay, but it does seem really strange to add to a game about to lose support in about two or three months. And with that, I thank you very much for listening. Goodbye, Overkill. You're not gonna fix the cross saves now, are you? Nah, I thought you wouldn't.